CyberSafe Foundation, a non-governmental organization in collaboration and funded from the United Kingdom, graduated the first cohort of over 2,000 girls between the ages of 15 and 40 from the DigiGirls Empowerment Program, which is increasingly breaking the bias in the digital economy with new skills in technology. The event, which took place in Lagos to commemorate International Women's Day, gathered women from all walks of life. Confidence Stavely, founder of the CyberSafe Foundation, said that the program, which consists of three pillars, training, mentorship and internship, was designed to make the girls employable. There no longer are uh, women who need to be done a favor, but there are women who have the skills and value to give the world. And that's what a program like this can do. Give women the skills that makes them competitive, makes them competitive on a national scale, makes them competitive on a global scale. The tech skills. We built a sense of community with women, and that's one of the key things I shared, which means they'll be encouraging each other. We also have um, an alumni community where we'll be continuously sharing um, opportunities with the women and ensuring that they continue to grow with the skills they have gotten. She also stated that several states are participating in this initiative. She mentioned that a new training is open to 4,000 young girls and women in Nigeria to acquire various digital skills. What we have done is that we have increased the way that, how inclusive the program is by adding different things like anti Peter is going to be part of uh, delivering the training so that they can sign the whole course content. So these are some of the things that we are doing to increase inclu um, inclusion. Also we have increased the number of people from 2,000 that we set out to take in this cohort and ended up taking for, uh, 2,400. We know we have increased now to 4,000 because we know that we will have an literally flooded by applications. Catriona Long, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, says the British government has set aside £20 billion to help developing countries to partner with businesses and provide young girls with digital skills. She claims that the program will help girls to take on leadership roles in a variety of industries. So they're now empowered to take up those positions to be leaders in their communities, to have good, strong livelihoods, and to drive the future economy of Nigeria. So what is the UK government doing? Well, supporting women in politics is one strand of our work, and what we're doing today is another strand. The Gigi Girls, as I mentioned, is a program that UK Aid is backing, and our Prime Minister today launched on International Women's Day um, a program for Africa and other developing countries, 20 million pounds, to partner with business to give young girls the kind of skills we're providing here and indeed the program is going to be very much modelled on this to enable girls to, to, make, to take up leadership positions in business. So we work in politics, we work in business, we support women who are active in civil society and climate change. So a whole range of areas to empower girls, to empower women, to aspire to leadership roles and take them up. So Nigeria can take advantage of the amazing talent of 50% of your population. The first set of Digi Girls share their experiences and newfound skills, as these, they say, will enable them to find gainful job both within and outside Nigeria. I've been looking for a career transition into tech. So when I saw the opportunity, I was like, I have a background in graphic design, but let me just try something else. Why not just go into product design and say what it will look like? So I applied and I got it. So I'm just grateful to the organization. At least now I can easily get a hands on experience on UIUS. So the program has been amazing. Um, and I'm proud to say I'm a digital marketer thanks to the CyberSafe Foundation program, the DigiGirls program. It has been amazing. It was a three month intense um, training. At first, I was skeptical, but you know. Getting into the Lagos Hub, I was so excited meeting with our friendly uh, facilitators. They were so amazing. We started from the scratch and the journey has been very, very good. So. Additional programs such as Digi Girls are hoped to aid in tackling Nigeria's gender inequality, which currently has a 15% gender gap against women and give more prospects for sustainable economic change through the country's dynamic tech sector.